Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to show you guys another one of the DLC3 legendary weapons. And this is going to be the Miscreant, which is a Vladoff pistol that comes from the Quartermaster, which is one of the crew challenge enemies. So it is pretty easy to go farm. Now, I have gone and farm a pretty good rolled one right here. These can roll times two, consumes two ammo per shot. All the ones I've gotten have had the secondary fire mode as a double barrel, which increases the fire rate by 25%. I thought that I heard somewhere that you could get zip rockets on the bottom of it, but I'm not 100% certain on that. And you can get every element on these. And overall, it is a pretty simple weapon in what it does. It is very strong and still pretty fun to just go kill enemies with. Pretty much what this does, it just shoots bullets that are explosives. They're pretty much miniature rockets and it shoots very, very quick. This is the fire rate without the double barrel attachment that increases your fire rate by 25%. As you can see, it's very fast firing just with that. Every projectile is explosive. And once you have the double barrel, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Just sprays out bullets everywhere that are splash damage, so they can hit multiple targets. They can hit yourself if you're not careful. It does really, really good damage from what I can tell. I don't have any talent points in. The damage is really, really good. Now, the one thing that I think this is a better rolled version than the times two, because you can't get times two on these and they consume two ammo. That seems to be a much better burst weapon. You will run out of ammo very quickly. I've already recorded some footage in Slaughter Shaft with this, my normal Mo's build. I'm able to not have to worry about ammo pretty much whatsoever, but if I have a times two, I will run out of ammo even just doing Slaughter Chef. So take that into consideration. If you're using a build that doesn't have a ton of ammo regen, probably don't get a times two because it's going to consume too much ammo. And since this is a splash damage weapon, it will proc anything that deals splash damage or any talents that have splash damage proc. So say Fire in the Skag Den, you now deal incinerary damage off dealing splash damage. Now I put that in. Now all of my bullets are now also doing incinerary damage anything that procs off splash damage will also proc this and it's just going to be very good for most of the characters in the game because zane really likes guns that spew out tons of bullets this does that very quickly amara is good with those type of guns as well but amara likes elemental weapons this can be every element again flak may be a little weak with this but the weapon overall is just so strong that i think flak will still be able to fit this into some build as well and have it be a pretty good tier mayhem 10 weapon pretty much all about this weapon it is simple still super fun to use and very very strong now also the strength of this and in the footage will be this specific one right here which i did get good rolls i get the really good anointed for mo's on it i got just overall some pretty good rolls i know that you can i think get higher fire rate than this one has but i do like the lower fire rate and i think the magazine can be much lower I I think I get a good roll in the magazine as well. That's pretty much all I want to go over with the miscreant. Subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands 3 content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this weapon. And thanks for watching.
So there's a few things I want to go over that I've learned while getting the footage for the miscreant. First thing is it's spraying this thing, at least with the corrosive version of it, and I'm assuming with the other elemental versions. Spraying this fully automatic at a target blocks your vision very heavily. If I'm just shooting it at the target dummy, it completely covers the target dummy in particle effects. Pretty much making it very, very hard to see. Now it is splash damage, so that does help a little bit. You can still hit crits with this. Just hitting one shot pretty much completely covers the target almost with those particle effects. So that is a bit of a downside with this weapon, but it being splash damage and spraying out so many bullets, it's not a super, super big issue. It does affect you a little bit, and you'll see in the footage I stop firing sometimes just to see where the target went. And the other thing I want to go over is that this seems to be incredibly strong with having your guardian rank talents and effects activated. Now I was testing some without my guardian rank talents activated. The damage seemed quite a bit lower, and I think one of the main things with this is the combo talent which on some weapons just isn't very good for but this weapon it's super good with and this increase your gun damage by two percent for one second for each with each shot with no talents or anything else activated if i just spray this at the target it goes to from like 17 or 18k to 24k and as you can see it starts at 18k and goes up to 23k which is really good and it stays at 23k very very easily so that is a massive damage increase just from having that one talent activated and then you also have hollow point that when you kill an enemy with a crit it causes an explosion this thing's already splashing to other targets so then having another explosion is also just really strong it kind of just double dips on the splash damage of this weapon that's pretty much all i wanted to go over i just noticed the damage because i was testing with the guardian rank talents off i just noticed the damage on weapons like this are fully automatic that have a lot of ammo in their magazine or at least I do with being able to get ammo back that you just notice the damage increase from the sustained fire and the combo guardian rank talent you just notice the damage increase very heavily especially when you have it off and then turn it on that's pretty much all the other information I want to go over for the miscreated pistol